how's everybody doing tonight or today whatever you're going to be watching this video uh, i'm just going to do a little walk around uh haven't been building much lately i kind of put all the building on pause um just trying to do a little organization and do a lot of cleaning you know you get so many rc models and i don't know if you guys do it or not but uh i do uh do you guys take them and uh, pull them off the shelf and do a lot of cleaning and polishing to them or what do you do i mean guess what i do yep just kind of doing some cleanup on all the collection doing a little dusting and and whatnot you know most everything there's my uh my compactor my skitter my quad track 375 my deer grader my magom converted brooder excavator my stagger my other stagger uh, there's a little new ray forklift actually they're pretty nice they're cheap uh, not very fast but there's my d10 and my case dozer and my little tonka dump truck and my brooder track loader and my brooder delta cat skid steer and then we're going to kind of move over to another table this is just my bench top here um then i have my white mac one of them i think that's actually number one i've got it on the top because i have two of them then my Ferro Libier, then my Bruder converted trailer extended that out so that fits a semi fifth wheel and then there's white Mac number two and then my other trailer that I have that I bought and then I've got my RC four wheel drive um, tag trailer and then of course that's my RC four wheel drive uh, goose or uh, low boy we're gonna go over to another table here now what I've been doing is uh, yeah the heater turned on it's cold here um, my my live here 574 my Volvo a 30 G brooder converted and then I have my man dump truck my big buddy L Mac um, my blue mixer truck and my orange, I always call this the pumpkin bucket. Um, and then I have the old gray and white dump truck. And what I've been doing is I actually bought some five gallon pail liners. And uh, I'm just going to get them all wiped down, waxed, cleaned up. And there's my red crawl ready mix truck. So yeah, it's... Uh, take everything off the shelf and clean 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 I mean I have done um, with uh, q-tips and everything else just to kind of get them cleaned up and uh, yeah just bought a roll I don't know, I think there's 25 of them in here uh, five gallon, five gallon pail uh, bucket liners someday I want to get wooden cases made for each and every one of these units and uh, so I can put the remote in there and the uh, yeah and the unit and uh, put up stack them up and keep them clean because I'll tell you what to keep all this stuff clean is a real pain but just kind of sharing my collection with you guys um, yeah well there's my my sheep's foot and but yeah, the shelves are pretty empty right at the moment. But uh, there's my T Traxxas TRX4 Bronco, and then I have a Western Star 49X there, and a 573 Hoyna dump truck in that box, and my 583 Hoyna and my 336 um, Cabalite excavator in there. So I haven't gotten everything out to clean, but. Those are all in boxes, so they stay. The units stay pretty clean. But uh, that's what I've been working on for the last three or four days—just doing some cleaning. 
Um, and, and I'll tell you what, it gets to be a lot of work, but hey, I, I've spent a lot of time building these things, and uh, I like to keep them looking nice, you know. Uh, unfortunately, with some of them, um, I did some painting in here, and I got some overspray. And uh, that's what I spent a lot of time buffing and cleaning all the... That was dumb on my part, but uh, it happens. You know, you think you got everything ventilated and fans go in the right direction. And now, now it's bad. <laughs> but anyway, I just figured I'd do a kind of a short walk around video on some of my toy collection, my RC stuff. Um, that's about most of it anyway. Uh, I'm, I know there's a bunch of things that uh, I have sold, so they're not here anymore. Catch you guys later.